Not many people knew that the PlayStation 1 had a slim model just like its predecessor, the PlayStation 2. Now this is actually... Yeah, it's almost, it's actually smaller, not slimmer, but, well, it's, it, you could probably say it's smaller than the PlayStation uh, 2 slim model. It's a lot, it's a lot more compact than the PlayStation 1, and it's just, it's really, the only thing it gets rid of is uh, one of the ports back here. I'm not exactly sure what it did, but otherwise it's just got the power input and the AV um, out. And then you got the on and off, and the reset button. In the original, there was a reset button here and a power button here. But they just kind of combined it in one, and really it doesn't even reset, it just goes on and off. But it's, it's you know, it really saved on space. And then, still got the open button here. It's a lot quicker to pop up and just clicks into place. Still got uh, both controller ports and both memory card ports. Uh, you know, it's really nice. It's a lot more compact and everything. There's not really much to say. Um, here's the original right here. It doesn't even fit on the screen here. There's the reset. Power. It opens there. Almost a nicer feel when it opens, but it's not really a big deal at all. They both uh, play the same games. There's no restrictions in the slim version or anything. Really, the, you know, they're both good. Both do virtually the same thing. It's not really a problem, so it's my <coughs> short review.